I'm Cindy from BeDanceWear.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a unique looking skirt. The way we did it is we took one of our circle skirts and we wanted a little shorter and sassier but a nice thick band on the top and that we turned around and ruched in the front. It's a really simple change up, uh, especially if you have a band that's damaged you can do something like that. Uh, but it gives a nice kind of sporty feel to it. So it's great for a cheer competition or something like that when you want to stand out from the crowd. It just might be the perfect skirt for you. So check it out. So in this skirt, what I've done is I've taken a circle skirt that's a few sizes smaller. So the band won't be right. Um, but that way I can keep it tiny and not have it too wide around the waistband. So the first thing we're going to do just take this off. Just go ahead and trim that away. And you'll want to determine how wide you want that band. Um, in this particular skirt, I'm going to V it down a little. So I want it to be wide on the sides. And let's cut this away. So this one right here ends up being um, just about an inch and a half finished. And what I've done is I picked an extra small skirt. We're going to cut a little away still. Um, it's not quite the length I want. I want it a little smaller. So I'm going to pull that band right off. I'm going to throw this away. So first we're going to go ahead and pull this over. And then we're going to fold it into fourths. If you're finding that you're having a problem matching it up, that's okay. You can just fold it in half. Um, we'll determine Figure out how far, how wide you want this uh, to be. Now I've already determined, I got a piece of plastic that's the right length that I want it. So see, it's a little bit smaller. We just want a tiny little one, but I want to keep this, this edge. So whether it's a uh, plastic, a piece of paper folded over, whatever you want, um, you can use something, um, just um, anything to measure with. You can use a yardstick, whatever you want, but you want to make sure these uh, edges are level and then I'm just going to go I'm going to use this and then just keep moving around and keep cutting it and then keep it going let's keep this nice and flat I found it is easier to work with two layers versus four layers four layers if one of them is off a little then the whole thing is off and you want to keep this circle thing moving around. Go by the bottom, not by the top, in case anything's off when you trim to the top. A ruler works just perfect too. So now we have this opening here, and we have it a shorter length. The next thing we want to do is I've measured around the girl's waist, and I've determined that we needed uh, 20 six inches. So we've gone with a wider band on this because I want to be able to pinch down the center. So the first thing you want to do is you have the right sides facing together and we're going to go ahead and sew this. You definitely want stretch stitches on any stretch fabric. If you have an overlock, that is the best way to do this. Um, woolly thread in one of them, not the needle, one of the bottom ones will work the best. So now that you've done that, I'm doing a straight stitch just to make it nice and fast. I'm going to open this up. You're going to put that together. Now, where you'll get into problems with this is if it's uneven and stuff. So I'm going to go here. I suggest you put a pin in the beginning. Let's just check this out, make sure it's... Okay, I'm going to go through, keeping it flat, keeping the bottom even. I'm going to put a few pins. The newer you are at sewing, the more you'll want to put pins in there. Um, or if you're just uncomfortable with using this type of fabric, you'll definitely want more pins. I'm going to do a really fast stitch all the way around just to hold it in place so that when I go to put it on the skirt, I'm only dealing with worrying about two fabrics lining up, not three. and possibly this bottom one slipping through and then causing a problem. You want to do a slight taunt to the fabric, but you don't want to overstretch it because if you overstretch it, then it's going to look all wonky. 
So you just continue that all the way around. And there we go. So now that you have that, oh, looks like you got to replace the bobbin here. I'm just going to replace it with a blue thread. So I ran out of bobbin, so we're just going to go back and continue that line. Okay, there we go. If you want, you can always trim this down to the edge. If you, it's up to you sometimes. Um, I like to have it just a small portion I'm dealing with. Give myself a little extra room and all the different stuff that I do because um, there's not a lot of room for error in the things. But you want to be careful not to give too much extra. I always calculate it in when I'm doing something because you want to make sure the final width is what you're looking for. So I've cleaned that up a little. Now I've got the skirt. And as I've shown you before, you're going to fold this in half and you're going to put pins in four different spots. You're going to put it in the very front, the very back. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you're going to go in and fold that in half and get the other two spots. So you're going to do the same with your band. And you're going to put your band on there. The front and the back. And then go ahead and do those other two spots. I am, for time's sake, I'm just going to do it real fast to show you. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stretch make sure they all match up. You don't want the bottom too big, too small. You want to make sure that this top fabric is stretched enough that it incorporates all the bottom fabric. Otherwise you're going to end up, you're going to get to the end and have too much fabric and have pinches. So you want to make sure that all matches up before you do anything else. And you can stretch this top, but you want to be careful also when you stretch this top so that it all eases in, that you don't end up um, stretching while the needle's going. If you stretch this when the needle's coming down, you're going to snap the needle. Um, the other thing that you want to pay attention to is you want to make sure this line stays even as you go around. Otherwise, your skirt will be smaller or bigger or the band as you go around. So I'm just going to do a quick part of this so I can show you. You don't have to watch me do the whole thing. But once you go around... Then you're going to end up with the skirt like that sewn all the way around on the front side. You want to make sure it's a stretch stitch so when you pull or tug on it, you can do a straight stitch with a zigzag through it. Um, woolly thread on the bottom will help if you don't have a stretch stitch. So you fin complete that whole thing around. Um, and then when you get to the very front, I'll show you how to do it. You want to make sure it's folded in half and that's the very front. Let's say this is it, okay. You're going to take this. So I have the pin in there so I know what the very front is. You can mark a line to make sure it's straight, but I like to use my machine as a guide. So what I'm going to do now, now this would be sewed on your skirt or you could do it before. It's up to you. You're going to want to uh, go up and back a little, lock that stitch into place, and then just gather this up really tight. From the back side you can see the white stitching and from the front I use the blue so you can't see it and this will make this V down in the front when it's on the skirt and give it a really cute little um, almost like a V shape to the front and it's really that easy to do. Thank you for watching our video and if you enjoyed it make sure and click here to subscribe because we're gonna have some amazing DIY videos coming out and if you want to get our free complete Dance Costume DIY Guide, click right here, or go to bedancewear.com slash DIY Guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video, and remember, be original, be colorful, bedancewear.com.